Time to talk about Bruno Gamares, ladies and gentlemen. It is time to talk about Bruno G. Now, my question to everyone in the comments is, is Bruno G the guy you want? Bruno G to Arsenal, yes or no? Is he the priority signing? I have a feeling he's not the priority. I have a feeling he's not the priority. I have a feeling he's not the guy, the main man that Arsenal is trying to go for. I don't feel like he's Bruno G. But the, the, but the reports came out today, and let's talk about it. So the reports are... I'm going to show you guys in a second before we go any further. So Team News Ticks. Team News Ticks was speaking about it on, on a podcast or, or on his Patreon, if I'm not mistaken. And Team News Ticks said that Arsenal are in pursuit for Bruno G. I was told with the last couple of days, there were some positive conversations. I'm not saying it's done, but it is, it is, it is anywhere close to done, but the club feel positive on it. That is one of the tweets that I've seen today about the Bruno G to Arsenal links. Now, there is there is another tweet that I've seen from a certain Ben Jacob, a friend of the show, of course, right? And hopefully I can get him on before the transfer window begins also. Ben Jacobs is, is, a, is a real one. For for uh, for coming on for coming on for uh, last couple of seasons, but yeah, let's let's go to the, what Ben Jacob said. Ben Jacob said something on the contrary though. He said that Man City are still exploring Bruno G and have made contact with the player. A uh, hundred million release clause is valid until the final week in June, as as for Romano has called. Arsenal are not planning to trigger the release cl uh, the release clause. And they will only consider moving if the price is dropped. As reported numerous times, Arsenal are looking for around 80 million for Bruno G, not the pronounced 100 million price tag. Zubimendi remains more uh, of a concrete possibility, although I have report, heard reports that Zubimendi is going to stay for one more year. And then Bruno Gamares has given the indication that he's happy at Newcastle, but an exit can be uh, can't be discounted due to the clause. PSG are out of the race for Bruno Gamares, as as they still want Bernardo Silva, Gavi. If if those are possibilities, Barcelona view him as a future captain, but don't uh, do engagement with any suitors. Okay, and PSG want to, uh, PSG want a striker, midfielder, centre midfielder, centre back but it would be an expensive, busy window if they tried to go for Bruno Gamares. So at this moment in time, it seems like, once again, a Premier League midfielder, it's going to come down to if he goes to Manchester City or if he goes to Arsenal. I'm just going to say my thing. I, I am not 100% sold on the possibility of Bruno G coming to Arsenal based on the fact that I do think Man City, if, if they're serious, they're going to get him over us. Simply because... They've 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 had interest in Paqueta. Paqueta is no longer on the table. They're going to want a Premier League proven uh, midfielder. We've seen them do that before last season with two midfielders. And if they really want Bruno G, Man City extra twenty million won't stop them from dropping that money to get him over the line. Hundred million, I think they, it would be it would be a good bar. It would be a good deal for anybody who gets him. But hey, I I, I would take him. I do think he's going to end up at Man City. That's just me. Uh, unlike Declan Rice, where I felt like we always had the edge over City, I think this Bruno G deal, especially with the fact that we could have signed him before he went to Newcastle and he ended up going to Newcastle and we kind of snubbed him and we didn't really go in for him. He might, he might, he might, he might look at that and say, you know what? I don't want these guys. They didn't want me then. I'm going to go to City. But yeah, talk to me, Souls. What are you saying? Me, me the club's playing the release clause. That's your first thoughts. Neither club, yeah, neither, neither, neither club will. I'm, I'm telling you this. Like they won't pay the release clause. Why? Um, the, the, the Mac, I would tell, he's gonna go for about 85 million, 80 to what? 85 million. Why? It's just a feeling I've got. Let's just leave it to that. But yeah, I'm. I am very confident neither will pay the release clause. And you can hold heard, We have heard Newcastle are willing to pay to, to take 80 million. We'll leave it to that. But yeah, I don't think he's coming to Arsenal. Arsenal are going to be looking at Amadou Anana as well from Everton. Um, we've got other options. We're not we're not fixated on the Bruno Gomorrah deal. Um, we already know that if Man City are serious about him, they're probably going to get him over us. But um, in terms of us wanting him, yes, there's a concrete interest in Bruno G. There's not we're no denying it. Um, 
But yeah, like you said, Man City are probably going to be favourites to securing him, especially with the Lucas Paqueta situation, let's say. But um, but yeah, I, I think he goes for 80 million. I think people are going to wait for that release clause to expire and Man City are just going to trigger an 80 million deal. Hmm. Let me know, everyone, in the comment section what you guys think about Bruno Gamares to Arsenal. Is it a yes? Is it a no? For the entirety of the show, I had a poll going on on if you would take Bruno G at Arsenal. And no surprise, Gunnar Sol, 71%, over 249 votes saying that they would take Bruno G at Arsenal. Are you surprised by the, by the resounding yes from the audience that they would take Bruno G at Arsenal? I mean, look, he's highly, highly rated by a lot of Premier League fans and people who kind of just watch football in general. But, um, like, for me, it's... Um, I don't know. I'm I'm not I'm not sold on Bruno Gomes. That's just me. But if the club want him, then you know I can trust them because I backed like I backed the Havertz deal when a lot of people didn't understand it. If I don't understand the signing, I don't necessarily go against it. But for me, there's a few things I'm a bit wary of with when it comes to Bruno G. But Arteta would have done his research. You know, Edu and the scouts would have done what they needed to do to make sure that it's not going to be a it's not going to be a concern when he comes to the club. But look, it is it is what it is. Like for me, like I have my concerns over the player, but I do think he has got qualities that can improve us. Okay. What about people saying that he's overrated? He he's not nothing elite, doesn't really take us over the edge. They would rather sign a, a Frankie De Jong or or somebody else than Bruno G. Do you think they're wrong to think like that? Just to say on Martin, I never like I'm not insinuating because what I said was because the Lucas Paqueta situations happened, Bruno G, they're going to amplify Bruno G. It's not a case of they wanted both or wanted one. All I'm saying is that because they've now probably not going to be able to sign Paqueta because of the situation, they're going to go all out for Bruno G. It doesn't necessarily mean they didn't want him before. That's just to clarify that point. But yeah, on your point of like whether we go for like a Zubi Mendy's off the cards because he more admires Xabi Alonso. And one of Arsenal's transfer policies is you want us, you want us. If you don't, piss off. It's as simple as that. We don't go back in when you reject us. It's the same with Vlahovic. Like as much as people have linked him again to Arsenal, we don't want to go in again because if you want to disrespect the club, then you ain't going to come. As simple as that. When it comes to other transfers and what, whether what we're going to pivot away to, Frank. Okay, so I I'm quite close to the camp of Frankie Dion, so I know a bit of what's going on there. He's going to be a very, very much so a ninety percent impossibility to happen, just because of the situation that Barcelona are in. He's got deferred wages that still need to be paid, but. I just think from a player side, that's going to be a very difficult deal to get done. Now, when it comes to Barcelona, they're willing to hear offers of 80 million. They made that very, very clear. The package is up. That's up for negotiation, but they want a package totaling 80 million euros. Now, Arsenal, as far as I'm aware, have spoken to Barcelona execs about a deal for Frankie Dion and have asked permissions to talk to him as well. But now, whether this deal happens or goes forward, it's all on the player. The Arsenal have all the information they need they know the fee that Barcelona are demanding and what they will be accepting now when you look at sort of his demeanor towards Arsenal he has always admired what Arsenal have done due to the Dennis Bergkamp links and he he does admire what Arteta is building the project that's going on so isn't, there is isn't he married to or partners with one of Dennis Bergkamp's daughters yeah, yeah so but I don't think that would play a big factor but in terms of like outside favorites of other than Barcelona Arsenal have always been a club on his radar. Even before this, he he admired us under Wenger. He's admired us, you know, for the days of like you know the sort of Burkham connections as well. So he's he's a possibility, but he's going to be a very difficult one. But I think this is this is going to be a kind of transfer which is going to have an ultimatum. He's they're going to like Arsenal are going to go to Frankie Dion and say, like, what do you want? Are you coming? Are you not coming? And that's what it's going to come down to. If he says no, they'll just move on. I don't think this is going to be a long, drawn-out, like, oh, let's just keep going in, let's try and... Give. It's not going to be a Vlahovic situation where two, three, four, five, six weeks into the window, we're still talking about him. It's going to be a case of first few weeks, we're going to find out what his intentions are, and if he's willing to, then cool, we'll bid. We know, what, we know the conditions, we know the intentions, and that's it. Thank you for watching that short clip, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Of course, if you want to engage with the conversation, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought about the discussion that we just had whatever it was and also i just need to say this
Thank you for watching up to this level of this point of the video. If you haven't already left a like on the video, please do. If you watched up until this point, surely you like my content. So you'll you'll definitely hit the subscribe button. And for the foreseeable future, I do live streams. I do a lot of discussions around Arsenal. This is your home for Arsenal transfer news and of course other things. So please do subscribe and keep keep a lookout by hitting that notification bell. I'm out people. Have yourselves a wonderful day.